Hey guys, showing you something a little, little something I'm working on. I'm trying to make my own coal tags. So I got some 550 paracord here, and I've cut them to about 12 inches, 16 inches, somewhere in there, and I burnt the ends on them. Well, I'm, I'm working on it, burning the ends, and uh, and I'll show you the rest here in a minute. So uh, let's get started. All right, guys, they're all done. So I got the burn ends on there, on both ends. And now we'll start the assembly process. All right, y'all, these are the ingredients you will need to do your DIY culling system. So I went to Walmart and got some of these bobbers. I hadn't opened them yet. A stringer and some more bobbers, just to change the color up. And that is my um, paracord that I've cut um, and this piece of angle was from my leftover from my last project doing the um, storage for my boat the hanging storage in the lockers um, so I'll be utilizing that to to hang them hang them from there I'll drill holes in them and then put that on the, the lid of my live well and that should I should be able to hang them all through there. So whenever I get a fish, I just pull one off and then hook it through the, the lip and good to go. So I'm going to start getting on this project and I'll get back to you when I'm finished. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how this works. What I've been doing. These were already had a hole in them. I don't know if you can see. These already had a hole in them. And this paracord is just just about perfect to go in here. You gotta force it just a little bit. But taking it, twisting it, to get it to go through. Just pushing it little by little. These are the smaller bobbers. I already done the big bobbers. They they had a little piece in there where you couldn't slide it through, so you ha I had to drill it out with the drill. So you may or may not have to do that, depending on what kind of bobbers you get. So there it is. It's gone through. Now you want to take and just do a nice overhand knot. Nothing, nothing fancy. I'm trying to keep mine right, right there at the tip. And slide it on up. All right. So that's your, that's your bobber. Now we'll take the. Uh, I decided to use these out of the pack. I do have some shower curtain rods you'll see in my last video, but these, hell, they were they were a dollar ninety five. So I said this this worth the money right there. So I take this right here, and I'm gonna do it just like you do a, a slip knot, just wrap it around twice, slip it back through, and just pull her on down. I figured that right there would keep it pretty pretty good. Shouldn't go nowhere. Alright, this is the end result. DIY coal tag. So, I gotta finish building the, the holder for the rod, I mean for the um, live well, the, the lid on the live well, but I'll show you that here at the end of the video when it all gets put together. But that's how you put it together. You don't need no special knots, tie a couple knots, no special bobbers. I think I got a dollar invested in these, paracord maybe in a couple more bucks, five, six bucks, and then you got these for two dollars, so, and the paracord I didn't use nowhere near as much as it comes with, you know, it comes in 25 foot sections, so I didn't use but maybe six, seven foot of it, maybe a little more, so you can use that for whatever, but uh, we'll get, get
the other one built and put together and we'll show you the final result. Alright guys, so here's the final result. Next comes the installation. Alright party people, here's the end result. Well you see the see the two little screws in there, but that'll be covered up with the carpet over time. You open her up. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. So they're hanging right in there. I got six. So one will be a backup. I got them. And you have to memorize this. Or you can write numbers on them. You know, whatever you want to do. Or you can have a little board. You can stick a little board up here. You can write the weight after you after you uh, weigh them and all that good stuff. But I, ain't, I hadn't done that. I don't think I really need it. I'm not a professional fisherman. I just need something to assort my fish. So the green will be small little feller. It'll be the first one to go. And then you got orange and then all the yellows. The two big, the two big yellows will be big fish. If I know there'll be a four or five pounder, I'll put them on the yellows right away. But these other three will be the other. But yep, that's it. Ain't nothing too special about it. Just some aluminum angle iron, a couple bolts and holes, and you got yourself a culling system for less than shoot less than fifteen dollars really so all right we'll just share and like this uh video i appreciate your time